quick video on how to fix software ports on this TV box uh, CS968. Right, it's the same as uh, all TV boxes. You just the best way to fix them is just to change the ROM, just just reinstall it, just put it back to its factory resets. I mean, you can just try pressing the reset button if you've got a problem. Uh, reset button is just here on the side, or you can do what I'm going to do. So you're going to need <coughs> this cable, uh, USB on both sides. Uh, you need to plug it into your USB on your computer. That's what I'm doing now. And get it in. Right, and then you need to hold the reset button in with something, and on the opposite side, USBs, plug the cable in. You've got to plug in the USB on the other side of the device. Then you hear the dunk dunk dunk, and that means it's connected. Now, in the, in the uh, comments, I'll leave the, the, all the software you need, but uh, you need the drivers. So, let's have a look at my screen. These are the drivers. Ones I found on the net, I'll put them in the description. Device manager, there we go. So if you go to device manager, you'll see an error on one of these here. It will just come up with unknown device or something like that. Uh, so that's that's actually once the driver's loaded, it will say that it will say uh, rock USB because that's what the I think that's what the processor is. Uh, but on the unknown device, if you just click on it, update software, and then point it at wherever you put this driver on your machine, and then that will install the driver so that you can actually work with the machine, with the, with the, the TV box. All right, so once this driver is installed, then you'll run this software here. It's a uh, RQ batch tool. Uh, yeah. Right, the tool, because I've plugged it in the right way, it comes up here. If you don't see anything here, it's because you didn't hear the dunk. It's because it's not installed or because the driver's not installed. But then you should have it here. Then you just need to search for the uh, Iceberg, the Ice Cube 2 software, which I found on the net. Uh, open that. And then it loads it, loading finished, and then you just put restore. When you do this, it will wipe your TV box and install a custom ROM, which is a, a version of Android. So it will, it will reload the whole op Android operating system on there. It won't be the one you had there originally, and it won't have any of the software that you've installed or any of your pictures or anything like that. So know that it's going to be a different ROM altogether but it should fix any software fault that you have. Repairing your CS968 Android TV box. Please subscribe and like the video. See you on the next one.